Welcome to this episode of Videodrome by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to bind an Android device via USB cable to the Up Air 1. So, a little bit tricky, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So, the first thing we're going to do is we need to turn on the quadcopter. Notice I've got the props off since it's here on the bench for safety. I'm going to press once and then press in a long hold to turn on the copter. Typical turn on. So, you see the lights. So, I'm going to set this back down. Now I'm going to take the controller, I'm going to flip the controller over. Now notice this switch, you're going to switch this all the way to the end. And so it's going to beep, and uh, there'll probably be a little red light inside here indicating it's on. So once this is set up, we're going to take a USB cable. Now it has to be a data USB cable, not just a charging USB cable. And then what we're going to do is we're going to insert this end, uh, the USB A side, into the controller. And then what we're going to do is insert the micro USB side into the, uh, in this case, this is a phablet. Now, the piece is this won't run on a tablet. It has to be a phone device, and this is actually just a large phone device. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that. So I'm going to take this and simply insert it into the tablet like that. It's going to buzz indicate a connection. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to select media device. So MTP, which is already selected. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to hit the back on the uh, Android interface. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to settings. And then what I'm going to do is go to more. And I'm going to go to tether tethering and portable hotspot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate uh, USB tethering. That's important. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the back arrow, the back arrow again, and then I'm just going to hit the circle. I could have probably did that at the beginning. And then what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to go over and find my application. I'll turn it this way so I can see it a little bit better. And then when I go to open it, it's going to say, make sure USB tethering is uh, been opened on your device. Since I've already done that, I'm going to say opened. And then I'm going to enter camera view. And I am now connected to my um, up here. And so that's all there is to it. Now, the important thing is, is getting the tethering uh, connected. So you have to first do MTP. Uh, so it's connected in media mode. And then the second thing you need to do is uh, connect USB tethering. Tethering, tethering, you get the idea. So, and now I'm all set. Now I can go ahead, I can control the quad. Uh, as you see here, I can, um, because I'm copying, I'm screen capturing the uh, the tablet too. So you can see I can adjust the gimbal from the controller over here and I can see the responses. If I flick my switches, you know, again, my, uh, I'm in attitude hold mode and then I'm switching, you know, to position hold mode. So all that's changing. So, Again, I'm now connected to the controller, and I can go fly the quadcopter. So hopefully that helped. I know it's a little bit confusing on how to uh, connect the Android tablet to this because it seems like you need to stop or should stop after the MTP or configuring the port. This is the way it is on the DJI, but you do have to go to the uh, USB tethering. So hopefully it helped. If it did, hey, give this a big thumbs up. Um, because I know it took me a little bit of digging, so I wanted to make sure there was a record out there how to do it. And uh, you have any questions, you have any problems, hit me up in the comments below. I do know that some phones or devices that don't have a cellular connection will not allow tethering to be turned on. So you're, if you're having that problem, that could be a, a situation with, with your device. Oh. Anyways, again, thumbs up. Subscribe button's coming up over there. I don't know what's for lunch today. You tell me, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.